every day I'm coming in because we have the best situation possible to make the best thing. We get here like 8.15, people start unpacking lunch, make coffee, and then each of the sculptors works with the model from 8.30 to 12.30, take a half an hour lunch, make coffee again, and work with the model again. Do the face, rotate it away, yeah, like charge forward, go, go with your head. What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. Recently, where I saw a colorized photo of the Harlem Hellfighters, and I had such a, a visceral response to one. I was looking at it, and I felt the body in the photo, because all of a sudden, the presence of those people were projecting out to me through the photo because of my experience here with the uniforms. What we do is translate that material into bronze, and then everyone that visits the park has the same kind of experience that we have. All right, so we got an issue with this figure because my figure, the leg is much longer in the femur. You have to cut it yeah. and then move the whole thing. It's just going to look a lot more monumental and heroic, so they're going to take care of this. What we're going to do is cut right above the joint of the knee, separate here, and then put a dowel in, and then lower from a seam somewhere right in here, lower this, and that will lengthen the femur and then we have to reattach everything with epoxy and re-sculpt it with clay. You gotta sculpt that pretty miraculously by Friday. So that's what we're gonna do. There's nothing that we have to protect that's in the foam. And so he's encouraging us to make design decisions. He's making design decisions with the gesture and the drapery every day. It's encouraging to see someone in his position do is that he's constantly developing the design on the sculpture and not afraid to make changes. And so it's really still a super creative process for all of us. 